tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour, right here on Illuminati Radio. I am your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this break of news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Matter of fact, hit that like button anyway. And um, if you have a special request video that you want me to do, or a celebrity you want me to do a video on, or... Uh, YouTuber you want me to do a video on, or a particular topic you want me to drop some understanding on and do a video on, there's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. And if you, this is your first time here, or if you haven't subscribed to my backup channel, please subscribe to my backup channel immediately. In case they do something to this channel, you can always catch me on my backup channel. Alright, so, card I B, well, Black Twitter. I don't know why they call it black Twitter. Black people don't own nothing. Black, you know, black people is always in places where they are not wanted. You notice that? Black people is always trying to make something theirs when it's not theirs. How can black Twitter, how can something that's called black Twitter be black Twitter when it's owned by a damn white Jewish man? But that's neither here nor there. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Black people want to claim everything, but you don't hear the black people saying, the black Bible, like, that's too much like right. Or the Israelites are black. The black Israelites. You don't hear nobody say that. You know what I'm saying? The black Israelites, the black Bible, you know what I'm saying? Moses is black, you know what I'm saying? Isaiah is black, Jeremiah is black, you know what I'm saying? You don't hear that. But yet, black people attach themselves to anything that is going to cause a controversy or that is going to cause somebody, you know what I'm saying, a fight or something like that. That's what black people attach themselves to. But, you know what I'm saying, let's see that here and over there. Black Twitter, you know what I'm saying, is calling for Cardi B to get arrested, you know what I'm saying, for something that happened, what, four years ago? Pay attention, people. I won't be too surprised if Cardi B's team then you know what I'm saying, started this. You know what I'm saying? An agent started this rumor. You know what I'm saying? Because why is it coming up now? Why is it a big deal now? Shouldn't have been a big deal when she said it four years ago. Shouldn't, you know what I'm saying, you guys call for her arrest and all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying, four years ago? If you didn't say nothing or do nothing about it four years ago, damn near don't do nothing about it now. But you know why? This is a whole ritual for Cardi B. The same way, out of the blue. How about this one? I'm going to tell you how this is a ritual, people. Out of the blue. You know what I'm saying? You have the BET Award. And you haven't seen Cardi B's belly ever since. But out of the blue, Cardi B comes out and displays a nine months pregnant belly on the BET Award. Right after, right after the Fast and the Furious movie, episode nine. Hits the theaters. Turn them nines upside down. Nine months pregnant belly. Turn that upside down. That's a six. Turn the Fast and Furious episode number nine. Turn that upside down. You get six. You see what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, people. This is a whole ritual. It's the same ritual. It's the same thing that... Ke Look, the Bible said there is nothing new on the sun. What did they do with Kevin Hart? When Kevin Hart was in his transitional moment, his transitional time, what did they do for him? They went and dug deep down in his Twitter and found some old homophobic tweets and they demonize him for that. Now, what they doing with Cardi B? They digging deep down four years ago, what this four represents, four represents the death of the black man. So if Cardi B is pregnant 
if she is pregnant, I'm not saying she is, I'm not saying she is, people, but if she is pregnant, what is going to happen to that baby? Because, hey, these are four, four uh, years ago um, comments that she made. And she's not going to be brought up on charges because nobody knows who the victims is. She ain't never pointed out the victim. She ain't never told you who the victims were. She just said that she have done this. Where the victims at? Why ain't the victim when she said this four years ago? You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't you think that if she said this four years ago and Cardi B was a star four years ago, right? And Cardi B calls you out saying that she did this and this that to you? Look like you should have came up. You should have came up then. It would have been a come up for you. You could have sued, or you could have brought up on charges then, or you could have. You know what I'm saying? You could have got a lawyer, lawyered up, or you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You could have did something, victims. But yet the victims didn't come out then, and I don't think the victims are gonna come out now because it's all a ritual, people. You know what I'm saying? Four. Notice, like I said, they waited till it's four years ago. They waited till four years ago. The number four, it represents death of the black man. You know what I'm saying? Death of the black man. It represents black. It represents black history. It represents slavery. You know what I'm saying? So I'm putting, I'm looking at it right now and I'm saying, okay. If Cardi B, like I said, if Cardi B is pregnant, I wonder what's going to happen to her baby. Either what's going to happen to her baby or what's going to happen to somebody that's around her that happens to be close to her. Because she is very due for a sacrifice, being that she starred in the most popular movie franchise on earth, which is The Fast and the Furious. You know what I'm saying? Paul Walker had to die for the first couple of Fast and Furious. Who got to die for Fast and Furious number nine? <laughs> That's why this so you notice, you know what I'm saying? And you don't after the movie dropped, Fast and Furious movie dropped, you didn't hear nothing from nobody else who starred in the movie. You didn't hear nothing from Tyrese. Vin Diesel, nobody else have you heard anything from, but you hear everything come having to do with God I B. Anyway, God I B is due for a sacrifice. That's what's going on. But ain't nobody, she's not going to get arrested. Because number two, where's the victims at? You, if you ain't got no victims, you know what I'm saying? There is no call for an arrest. All this is talk. All of this is hype. And like I said, I won't be too surprised if one of Cardi B's camp members done started this. And then the Negroes just, you know what I'm saying, foul suit and made it the topic of conversation. All to portray a ritual. But anyway. If you guys have any special request videos that you want me to do, celebrities you want me to do a video on, YouTubers that you want me to do a video on, a particular particular topic you need understanding on, is a small donation of five dollars. The donation link is in the description box below. And if you this is your first time tuning in, or if you haven't followed my backup channel, I urge you to follow my backup channel immediately. In case they do something to this page, you can always find me on my backup channel. The backup channel link is in the description box below. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I am your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that notification bell. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.